I found these old analog gauges at the market for a dollar. Before there were LCDs and everything, before even LEDs, this is how people looked at data. And a retro mashup, I made a USB device that displays PC status on these gauges. The gauges are connected to a circuit board with a PIC microcontroller. The board connects to a computer through the USB port. On the computer I'm running LCD Smarty, an open source program that shows system stats on character LCDs. LCD Smarty sends my system stats through the USB port to the gauges. When I open Firefox, the CPU and memory use increases. The same thing happens when I load the DIY Life website. Stick around for more geeky details after the fold. How does this work? It's very simple. Now here's what happens. The design is based on a USB color changer, but it uses smaller, surface mount parts. We also need to change some circuitry to get from here to here. This is the circuit from the USB color changer project. In the middle, there's a PIC microcontroller with USB support. We'll use the same design this time. The gauges will always be connected to a PC, so the PIC is configured for USB power. This is a bit different than last time. We don't need to use a pin to sense the USB connection, so we can get rid of these resistors. We also need to connect the USB power pin to the power for the circuit. And we don't need the 5 and 12 volt power supplies anymore. The color changer switched a bunch of LEDs with a heavy duty FET. Gauges are usually a light load, so we can use a simple transistor to switch them. The transistor I use will switch 100 milliamps. That's dozens of gauges, but only 5 LEDs. And we need a resistor between the pick and the transistor. The gauges get their own 2.5 volt power supply. This keeps the gauges from bouncing along with changes in the system voltage. I used an adjustable regulator to convert the USB power to 2.5 volts. These resistors set the output voltage. The device is designed to work with LCD Smarty, an open source utility that shows system stats on a screen like this. It's easy to set the gauges. We can test it out from a serial terminal. Enter the number to display, followed by a gauge to show it on. A or B. That's it. No enter, nothing else. The device will respond with zero. With a bit of finessing, we can get LCD Smarty to send CPU and memory stats in the same format. If you want to build one yourself, read the article and grab the project files at DIYLife.com. Have fun, and be safe.